a NASA one first. Right, good morning all. Um, this is a formal welcome to those on Zoom. I know we've already just said hi to one another uh, and uh, welcome to anybody who may be watching on, on uh, Facebook Live and to anybody who may be watching on, um, on YouTube a bit later. Welcome to you all. Uh, hoping that you're all well and um, it's lovely to have you with us in this format this morning prayer service of Holy Communion. Um, as has been our custom, we will <laughs> mute everybody, uh, but unmute those who will be taking uh, part in the service. Um, apart from the, the piece, when we will um, uh, kind of let everyone just say hi to one another. So we're going to share some liturgy as we turn uh, to our time of worship. So we pray together. Almighty God, long suffering and of great goodness, we confess to you our neglect and forgetfulness of your commandments, our wrongdoing, thinking, and speaking, the hurts we have done to others, and the good we have left undone. O oh God, forgive us. For we have sinned against you and raise us to newness of life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. It's good to know that as we gather for worship, as we say sorry to God, that he forgives us our sins. So let me affirm you in saying, Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so we come to our reading uh, which Farina is going to read for us and we just need to make sure that Farina is unmuted. There we go. Farina. The reading this morning comes from Luke 1, starting at verse 57, and is about the birth of John the Baptist. When it was time for Elizabeth to give birth, she had a boy. Her neighbours and relatives heard how good the Lord was to her, and they rejoiced with her. When the baby was eight days old, they came to circumcise him. They wanted to name him Zechariah, because this was his father's name. But his mother said, no, he will be named John. The people said to Elizabeth, but no one in your family has this name. And then they made the sign to his father to find out what he would like to name him. Zechariah asked for a writing tablet and wrote, his name is John, and everybody was surprised. Immediately Zechariah could talk again, and he began praising God. All their neighbours became alarmed, and in all the mountains of Judea, people continued talking about all these things. The people who heard about them wondered, saying, What will this child be? Because the Lord was with him. And so the child grew up and became strong in spirit. John lived in the desert until the time when he came out to preach to Israel. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Uh, just a gentle reminder, there is a reflection on that talk that can be found on YouTube. Um, it may seem a bit of an unusual usual reading to have this morning that the church globally remembers the birth of John the Baptist today, which is why that reading is as it is. I'm always struck by that reading uh, as we come from the church called St. Elizabeth's of the very complex nature of that story. And the reflection is just thinking about the complex situation we find ourselves in as church and what is going to come to birth through the present time as the old church um, 
as the demolition of the old church really does begin to take hold. I don't know if you have seen the pictures or actually seen the old church building, but that roof is almost off, uh, which is really quite amazing to think that uh, we've finally got to that point. Anyway, the, a short reflection picking up on those themes can be found on the YouTube channel. So we move to a time of prayer and Mikey is going to lead us in our time of prayer this morning. So let us pray. Dear God, as the church's whole world remembers today the story of John the Baptist, so we pray for our own church, community named after his mother. We pray that you will bless us all this, this time we, as we can this we begin to see our church demolished. We pray that your spirit and encounter those stumbled by this will who has been looking forward to this and how all together and remain our church re operated and began to leave lockdown and look forward to how we enable your church to here to grow. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. We pray for those who know and are well, those affected by the pandemic and those who illness has carried on during this time. Gavin of God, give skill sympathy and resilience to all who are caring for the sick and who are welcome to those searching for a cure for the COVID and all diseases. Strength them with your spirit. Save through the world many resources in hell. We pray for our town. For this someone lies for those who have lost jobs and hold finance and are strained. We pray for all this, oh, we pray for homeless and find food and shelter that low need to find people to have radical conversation with conversations with that those to feed strength at this time we find the peace they need. Lord Jesus Christ, we've taught us a lot of our neighbours and to care for those in need and we were caring for you in this time for anxiety. You are strength and comfort the help fearful, the tender and sick and to the isolation of our love and your love. For your name sake, Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mikey. Um, we're going to share a sign of the peace in a second. So let me just introduce that with a, a sentence of liturgy. And then we'll open the microphone just for people to pass on their greetings of peace to one another. We are the body of Christ. In the one spirit, we were all baptized into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes for peace and builds up our common life. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. To share a sign of Christ's peace with one another. Peace, peace. be with you. Peace be with anyone looking on from uh, Facebook and uh, those who may be looking on from YouTube. Peace be with you. And so we move to our time of communion. The Lord is here. His spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Father, we give you thanks and praise through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living word, to whom you have created all things who was sent by you in your great goodness to be our saviour. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh as your son, born of the blessed virgin. He lived on earth and went about among us. He opened wide his arms for us on the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us and revealed the resurrection by rising to new life. 
So he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. Therefore, with angels and archangels and all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name forever, praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them saying, drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom, all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. So we join the worldwide church as we pray together to our Father. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Every time we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. So however you are able, draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood, which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. The body of Christ. The blood of Christ. Amen. And so we pray together. Father of all, we give you thanks and praise that when we were still far off, 
you met us in your son and brought us home. Dying and living, he declared your love, gave us grace and opened the gate of glory. May we who share Christ's body live his risen life. We who drink his cup bring life to others. We whom the spirit lights give light to the world. Keep us firm in the hope you have set before us so we and all your children shall be free and the whole earth live to praise your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. So a closing prayer of blessing. The peace of God which passes all understanding keep your hearts and your minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. So go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. <clears throat> you may have known... Um, picked up yesterday with the government announcement that our churches will be able to reopen again um, in the beginning of July. We haven't fully worked out how that's going to happen yet, but it certainly is our intention that uh, the church building will be open as soon as we can be for corporate worship, but it will be different. Um, we've already been told that there won't be any singing and there's still going to be lots of social distancing involved. <coughs> Excuse me. We imagine at the moment, certainly through July and through August as well, that we'll probably only be running with one service on a Sunday morning, that it will oh, be spoken. And um, that we'll listen to music if we're actually in the church building, as we have been doing on Zoom. But we will continue to... Um, stream the services both via uh, Facebook and through Zoom as well. So uh, this is a way of saying that there's no pressure for people to feel that they've got to come into the building, especially if they don't want to come at this moment. But likewise, there would be a warm welcome for those who uh, feel able to be able to come and join us. But we'll let you know more about that over the next week and, and a half. So I think we need to say farewell to those on Facebook, those on YouTube. We look forward to seeing you on uh, Sunday at 10.30. Have a good day. Goodbye. Bye.